Welcome, ladies and gentlemen. So what I'd like to do is show you how to um, factor x squared plus 4x plus 3. And I kind of do this uh, you know, a couple different ways. Um, but when we're factoring a trinomial, basically what we want to do is we want to rewrite this as a product of its factors. And to do that, what we want to do is, you know, a lot of times, if you remember, when we did FOIL, uh, well, x plus 3 times x minus 2, right? Remember, when we did FOIL, we multiplied, right, like this, and go through that. And so we multiply every term by each other. And then when we did that, so for this case, I have x squared, negative 2x, positive 3x, um, minus 6, right? And then we combine these two terms, because they were like terms, uh, plus x minus 6, to now create this trinomial. Well, now what we want to do is we want to, given a trinomial, we want to go back to the product of its two factors. So to do that, um, what we notice is, here, these two numbers multiply, give us x squared, which we know, right? So we have x. So I know my product of factors is going to be x times x. Now we notice that the product here gave us this number, negative 6, right? So we want to say, all right, well, what two numbers do I need to multiply to give me 3? Well, this one's pretty nice. It could be 3 times 1, or it could also be negative 3 times negative 1. But then notice, and when doing my middle terms, uh, middle and my outer, what I notice, or the inner and the outer, is these two I multiplied, right, and then I combined them. So when combining these middle, I'm going to add up to 4x. So what we need to look at is basically what we do is we say, all right, so what two numbers, which we call your c and your b, where if I could say ax squared plus bx plus c is their standard form. So c, what two numbers multiply to give you c, but then add to give you b, looking at the same factors. Well, 3 is nice because it's the same factors. You can see they multiply, um, multiply to give me 3, but then add to give me 4. Well, obviously, to give positive 4, it can't be the negative, so it's 3 and positive 1. So I say x plus 3 x plus 1. And then again, we can always test using the distributive property, which would be x squared plus 3x plus x plus 3. Combine. And you can see that that is the correct answer. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you factor a trinomial. Thanks.